Hey there, Ben Mankiewicz with you. Thanks for tuning in to TCM. We're all month, every Thursday night, we're featuring an outstanding actress, an Oscar winner for On the Waterfront, and one of the best people I've met in my 21 years at TCM. Eva Marie Saint is our star of the month. Last week, we kicked off our celebration of Eva Marie's work with a celebration of her 100th birthday. She was born July 4th, 1924 in Newark, New Jersey. After a stunning movie debut and On the Waterfront, Eva Marie went on to play vaguely similar characters in her films, a seemingly fragile and forlorn woman possessing unexpected strength. She plays such a character in the picture we have next. It's from MGM in 1957. Eva Marie stars opposite Elizabeth Taylor and Montgomery Clift in Rain Tree County. Based on the best-selling novel by Ross Lockridge Jr., the story is set in fictional Rain Tree County, Indiana. The film spans roughly 30 years and focuses on a love triangle between Clift and two women, his longtime love, that's Eva Marie, and a new arrival in the county, a wealthy beauty played by Elizabeth Taylor. The plan was to make Raintree County another Gone with the Wind, and like that epic, the story here unfolds against the backdrop of the Civil War. However, despite the ambitious scope and budget of the production, the film may be best remembered today for what happened behind the scenes. Just a few weeks into production, Clift was nearly killed in a single car crash after leaving a dinner party at Taylor's home. The film shut down production for a spell as Clift recovered. It's really impossible to say how much the accident affected the rest of Clift's life, but there's little doubt it was significant. There's really Montgomery Clift before the car crash and Clift after. His dependency on drugs and alcohol after the accident only exacerbated his health issues. Eve Marie had tremendous respect for Clift as an actor, but they were both so shy they were unable to connect personally. Eve Marie says Taylor was able to bring Montgomery Clift out of his shell. In a conversation with me four years ago, she marveled at the strength of their connection. I think they really needed each other, she said. Here's the film from 1957, directed by Edward Dimitrick, also with Lee Marvin and Agnes Moorhead, Rain Tree County. I'm lucky enough to call Eva Marie Saint, who you just saw in Rain Tree County, a friend. She is not only the most charming Oscar-winning movie star there is, but she listens in a way that strikes me every single time we talk. I've had the pleasure of interviewing Eva Marie several times over the years. When I chatted with her in 2020 for the special home edition of the TCM Classic Film Festival, I asked her about her experience working with Montgomery Clift. She told me that Clift was very sweet, but also very shy, which also describes Eva Marie, though she was not prepared for the degree of Cliff's shyness. She invited him to lunch one day during production, hoped to get to know him a bit better. He barely said a word. Of course, neither did she. It was awkward, not hostile, but it was largely a silent lunch. Eva Marie said, She'd never forget that day because when lunch was over, they went back to the set and did a beautiful love scene together. She added that the only person Clift wasn't shy with was Elizabeth Taylor, who was, in her words, wonderful with him. Coming up, we have Eve Marie with Taylor again, this time in a romantic drama about an Episcopal priest who falls for a free-spirited artist. From 1965, also with Richard Burton, The Sandpiper is next on TCM. Next on TCM, the sandpiper, then that certain feeling, and later, behind the headlines. Get the scoop on TCM tonight. Hey, Ben Mankiewicz with you. Thanks for watching TCM as we continue another night celebrating July's Star of the Month, Eve Marie Saint, who turned 100 years old last week. I have to say she has hardly changed since the first time I met her. So charming, so funny, so kind, so smart about actors and acting. Eve Marie is best known for two movies, playing Marlon Brando's love interest in On the Waterfront and as the seductive spy who mysteriously enters Cary Grant's world in North by Northwest. Eve Marie's screen career spans 75 years, giving her one of the longest careers in showbiz history. She's been paired with some of the top leading men in the business. In addition to Brando and Grant, she has shared the screen with Paul Newman, with Montgomery Cliff, Burt Lancaster, Gregory Peck, and James Garner. Not bad. However, when asked who her favorite leading man was, Eve Marie almost always says her husband, director Jeffrey Hayden, to whom she was married for over 65 years. Jeffrey, who died in 2016, was also one of the great guys in this business. 
Up next, we have Eva Marie in a supporting role opposite two of the biggest stars of the 1960s, Elizabeth Taylor and Taylor's husband, Richard Burton, from MGM in 1965, Sandpiper. This is the story of a single mother, an artist. That's Elizabeth Taylor. When her son gets into trouble, a judge orders him sent to a boarding school run by Richard Burton. Burton's character is married to Eva Marie Saint, setting up a love triangle with Taylor's character, as was the case in our previous film tonight, Rain Tree County, where Taylor came between Eva Marie and Montgomery Clift. Eva Marie always enjoyed working with Taylor. I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for Elizabeth, she said after Taylor's death in 2011. I have wonderful memories of working with her. She was an incredible talent. Here they are with a cast that also includes Charles Bronson and Robert Weber, featuring the Oscar-winning song The Shadow of Your Smile, from 1965, directed by Vincent Minnelli, his last MGM film, one of his final pictures. This is The Sandpiper. The Sandpiper did not earn much critical praise, but audiences didn't pay attention to the critics. They wanted to see Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton smolder on screen, the two stars were married by the time the film hit theaters, but much of the movie-going public still saw their relationship as scandalous since it began with such a public affair on the set of Cleopatra, an affair that led to divorces for both Taylor and Burton. A year after those divorces, Taylor and Burton were still making headlines, their lives dominating the Hollywood press at every turn. In an interview with Vanity Fair in 2011, Eva Marie Saint recalled that while filming The Sandpiper, Taylor and Burton were so famous they couldn't go anywhere. Well, Eva Marie never set out to achieve that kind of fame. She certainly possessed that level of talent, leaving her mark on Hollywood with a body of powerful and affecting performances. Coming up, Eva Marie Saint gets caught up in another love triangle. She stars with Bob Hope and George Sanders in a lighthearted comedy based on a hit Broadway play. From 1956, That Certain Feeling is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, that certain feeling. Then, behind the headlines. And later, Great Catherine. The Empress Strikes Back on TCM Tonight. 